Do my wee Do my, yeah. Okay, welcome everybody to the Eva Match Briefing with the Scottish team. We have defence coach Steve Tandy, we have centre Hugh Jones and second row Grant Gilchrist. Hands in the air for a microphone and we'll start first question please. One at the front here. Hugh, have you um, managed to avoid the bed bugs so far in Paris? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was the first thing I checked when I got into my room. Um, yeah, it's been fine. Hotel's lovely. Um, yeah, no bed bugs. How are you feeling? It's obviously a huge game. It all comes down to this for Scotland. How are you feeling personally about taking on Ireland? Um, yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's been a good week's training. Um, yeah, been looking forward to this game. We know that we know what we have to do, um, but, but it's a great challenge. It's, it's exciting. Um, yeah, a game we're really looking forward to. Ireland are on this incredible run. They're also on a great run against Scotland. You've run them close in some games, not so much in others. What makes you think this is the time that you can finally turn them over? Um, yeah, whenever we look back at those games, there's so many opportunities that we haven't taken. Um, and obviously, it's you can't ever have sort of a perfect game, but something we've been striving towards is, is being more consistent and, and putting together an 80 minute performance, staying, staying alive in every moment um, and really just staying focused. Um, we've had a few games where just five or 10 minutes of a loss of focus has cost us the game. So we know that we can't have that, but we also know that if we can sort of have that for 80 minutes and um, stay in every second of it, um, just and take our chances when they arise um, that we can beat top teams. So uh, we know we've got the quality. We know we've got the game plan. We 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 can we can win. We just got to go out and do it. And um, obviously, like you say, they're coming off a really good run. So we're not taking anything lightly. Uh, we know it's going to be very tough, um, but we've got belief. You, you talked about that you know five or ten minute spell where you've kind of conceded a lot of points um, happened against France in the Six Nations and in the World Cup warm up and against Ireland and against South Africa. Why do you think that happened? Because if you take those five or ten minutes away in all those games, you could you could have won them all potentially. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why it happened. Um, we obviously. Obviously, need to stop doing it. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess it's just a, a loss of focus. I think at this level, um, any sort of small loss of focus and mistake, you see it in all the games. Um, sort of any other team, you'll see just a, a small little moment. Um, it costs you a try, um, especially at this level. So look, it, it can happen to anyone. We just. Obviously, it, it sort of becomes more obvious when the game's closer. Um, and then you can look back and be like, well, that's probably the moment where we can see the points there. And, uh, and that'll be why we lost. But, um, yeah, I think just sort of cutting out small errors and, um, yeah, just sort of staying in it. And one thing we've spoken about over the last couple of weeks is just um, our animation, our communication, and something that's going to keep you all connected and... Um, just keep you all connected sort of in every moment for that 80 minutes um, Grant the, the lads that were up for press yesterday Blair Xander Jamie the kind of language was real kind of up and at them you know um, not die wondering all this kind of stuff has there been a noticeable increase in kind of emotion in the squad and that kind of hard talking yeah <coughs> I think there has to be um, what the boys said is true, that this is as big a moment as you'll get in, in your career. You know, the, it's, it's all or nothing for us. Um, hugely exciting, the challenge, stuff of dreams for players to go out in, in an arena like this um, with everything on the line. Um, having had the, the journey we've had to this point, it's about, it's about bringing that emotion. Like, don't, don't be scared of it. We're going to embrace it. We're going to put absolutely everything we've got into the game and we believe that's going to be enough to win. 
Grant, in terms of Scotland performances that you've been involved in over the past few years, which one is closest to the level that you're going to need tomorrow? Um, I think there's a there's a few um, because we're in the stadium. The way we played um, when we beat France 2021, um, the way we defended in that game, man down at the end and came back, went through multi phase at the end. That's kind of levels of effort that will require. Um, you know, big games we've had recently against England, the way it's wicking them, you know, where, where we've had bad records, you know, the, the similarities there. Like, this team's gone and, and done things that the other Scotland teams just haven't done. Um, we know that, that beating Ireland something in, on a big stage is, is something we've not done. Um, but that's, that's what excites us and that's why um, we've got to go out tomorrow and, and give our all for, for our country, for ourselves. Um, to get into to, to the quarter final. Grant, there's always been a wee bit niggle between Scotland and Ireland through the years. Does that add an extra edge to tomorrow? Because you obviously know each other. I think, based on what I've just said, I don't, I don't think there's going to need to be uh, any more edge or any more emotion. Um, they're in the same, known they're in the same position as us. Um, I can only speak for ourselves. We don't need any more emotion than. Than, than we've got and, and motivation, emotion, it's, it's all there. It's about can we deliver that um, 9, 10 out of 10 performance against the world's best team? Is it all down to a fast start? Because kind of you're chasing the game before it's even started. A fast start will be important. Um, I think against any of the good sides in, or the, the very best sides in world rugby, you certainly don't want to be chasing the game. We felt that when we've played against the top top sides, France, South Africa, Ireland in the past, we, you don't want to be chasing them. But also, we believe that then the, the next moment moment's the most important. If if we do consider trying the first minute, the game's not lost. It's the, it's a response to, to things going wrong that will be that will be more important than things going wrong. Like we're playing against um, the best team in the world. Of course, things things are going to go against us. Is how we get more things for us than against us, and, and our mentality that the mental side of tomorrow night will be just as important as, as the physical side. Grant, you, you could hear from what you said about the frustration about that record against Ireland, those eight defeats in a row in the last ga eight games between the nations. Do you think that's an unfair representation of the difference between the teams? Uh, it's, it's reality, so it's what we, it's what we have to face. So like, I don't think it really matters what my what my perceptions are. I think the reality is we we haven't been able to to beat Ireland in, in a long time. So um, that's that's the record that faces us. But like I said earlier, history and and those kind of things do, doesn't scare this team. Like we want to go and and go and and do things that we we've struggled to do. That's the kind of challenge that that gives you you know the, the real special moments in your career. And that's what this team's striving to do tomorrow. Question at the front here. Hugh, you played in the win in 2017. What do you remember from that? And is there anything you can take from that game that you can use tomorrow? Um, yeah, I think that was that was one of those games where we where we did put together a performance. We, I think, what sticks out from that is we took our chances. Um, it was a it was a close game, but yeah, I think I think we took our chances when it they were available. Um, and we finished up on the right side of the scoreline, so that's clearly what we need to do, um, and that's and that's what we've done in the past few years when we've had good wins against the top opposition. Um, you just need to sort of yeah, you have to be clinical. That's really it. Miles at the back. Hi, Steve. Over here. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm fine, thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, the. <laughs> The challenge of winning a match by a certain level of match points, be it four to nothing or five to nothing, obviously puts a certain emphasis on attack. But the other route to that is making sure that defence is very solid because that's just as important, isn't it? And, and finding that balance in mental approach this week, how difficult has that been? Or has you, have you found the players sort of responding to that message very well? I think that the boys respond to it and I think it's always whether you're chasing four tries or not, the balance of that, like you said, is really important and we've got to back who we are first and foremost and again, it's like 
here when everyone's saying it's just trying to get those moments more for us or less for them in around what that looks like but ultimately we have to concentrate on the way we've been playing over the last few years and there is that attacking mindset and we know in around defensively we've had, had some huge moments in winning in England and things we've got to um, remember those from past experiences like beating Wales so those moments we know we're going to have to be at it and Ultimately, we know as well, Ireland can have the moments in the game. It doesn't always take a lack of focus or like a lack of doing something. The opposition, the number one team in the world, and they're going to have moments in the game. And I think it's how we respond and take energy from that. And there will be moments where Ireland will be on top. But I think for us then defensively is to really feed of that and how we can get the ball back or repel them near, close to the goal line if they get an opportunity. So... I think it's just that exciting mindset of, A, how can we get the ball back for these boys to go and score the points that, that we need, but also if we if we can't get it back, it's repelled in Ireland as, as best we can. Any more questions? Okay, well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Scotland.